कॉस्ट प्राइस ऑफ फिफ्टीन आर्टिकल्स एज इक्वल टू सेलिंग प्राइस ऑफ ट्वेल्व आर्टिकल्स फाइंड प्रॉफिट और लॉस परसेंट सो फाइंड प्रॉफिट और लॉस परसेंट सो इफ प्रॉफिट विल बी अर्न फाइंड प्रॉफिट परसेंट इफ लॉस इज इनकर्ड फाइंड लॉस परसेंट ओके सो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू ओके सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सॉल्व सच क्वेश्चन ना डोंट राइट डोंट लेट और डोंट सपोज वैल्यूज बिगर वैल्यूज यो और डोंट सपोज वेरिएबल लाइक एक्स और एनी थिंग एल्स सो यू कैन डायरेक्टली सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन सो कॉस्ट प्राइस ऑफ फिफ्टीन आर्टिकल्स इक्वल टू सेलिंग प्राइस ऑफ ट्वेल्व आर्टिकल्स सो डायरेक्टली राइट डाउन कॉस्ट प्राइस ऑफ फिफ्टीन आर्टिकल एज फिफ्टीन सी पी एंड सेलिंग प्राइस ऑफ ट्वेल्व आर्टिकल्स एज ट्वेल्व एस पी ट्वेल्व एस पी सो इन दैट सिचुएशन हाँ इन दैट सिचुएशन डू वन थिंग सीपी is here just bring sp from that side towards left side so that we can write down cp upon sp in that situation 15 will go right side because cross multiplication will take place and that's why 12 upon 15 so cp upon sp equal to 12 upon 15 so when you cancel it so 3 4 ja 12 and 3 5 ja 15 so 4 by 5 so in that situation uh, if i consider cp to be 4 unit then selling price will be 5 unit in this situation cp is 4 then sp is 5 unit and if cp is 4 unit and sp is 5 unit definitely they are going means we are going to make uh, 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 okay so in this situation if cp is 4 unit and sp is 5 unit uh, then cp is lesser than 5 cp is lesser than sp in this situation they are making a profit of 1 unit here so they are making a profit of 1 unit and 1 unit profit is made on cost price if price if they are not asking you to calculate on selling price so profit of 1 unit 1 unit means selling price minus cost price will give you 1 unit profit 1 unit profit is calculated on 4 and multiply here by 100 you will be getting your answer that is 25% okay 25% profit you earn here understood done <clears throat> okay let's move one more question if cp of 18 apples h equal to sp of sp of 20 apples 20 apples find profit or loss percent find profit or loss percent do it fast find profit or loss percent okay solution is very simple 18 cp 20 sp cp upon sp will come this side 20 upon 18 so 2 ten ja 2 nine ja so here if cp is considered as 10 unit then sp will be 9 unit so in this situation if sp is lesser than cp a loss is incurred how much loss one unit loss so here one unit loss is calculated on cp that is 10 multiply here by 100 you will be getting 10% loss so i think now you have understood now you have understood what to do 10% loss okay i hope you have understood this now i'll be so giving you another question this i'll change the type okay hmm 
इफ ट्वेंटी परसेंट प्रॉफिट ऑन सीपी वॉट परसेंट प्रॉफिट इज कैलकुलेटेड ऑन कैलकुलेटेड ऑन एस पी सी इफ यू आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट इफ यू आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट प्रॉफिट ऑन सी पी इट इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट दैट मीन्स वेन यू कैलकुलेट प्रॉफिट ऑन सी पी इट इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट सो इफ ट्वेंटी परसेंट इज द प्रॉफिट अर्न ऑन सी पी देन वॉट परसेंट ऑफ प्रॉफिट विल बी अर्न ऑन एस पी दिस इज द क्वेश्चन सेलिंग प्राइस सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी सिंपल आई एम जस्ट एक्सप्लेनिंग यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज हैपनिंग सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट profit or loss or anything so first of all see the percentage value here so percentage value is given as 20 and that's why i am writing fraction of 20% as 1 upon 5 now since fraction of 20% is 1 upon 5 so what i am considering i am going to consider my uh, cost price to be 5 unit okay why why i am considering assuming cost price to be 5 unit because here 20% profit is calculated on cp that's why i am going to consider i am going to assume my cp to be 5 unit had it been or had this loss or profit percent is was the had this profit or percent or uh, loss percent calculated on selling price uh, in this situation we have we would have assumed it as denominator as selling price but here why cost price because this time profit is calculated on cost price and they want us to calculate it on selling price so for that we need to find out selling price here cost price will be considered as 5 and since profit is made profit is made so profit can only be made when selling price is more than cost price by profit percentage okay so selling price is more than cost price by profit percentage so in this situation how much profit is made 20% so just add up one uh, by uh, one with 5 so your selling price in this situation will be 6 unit so cost price was 5 units selling price is 6 unit but the difference remains same one unit that is profit so profit one unit this time is calculated on selling price that is 6 multiply here by 100 so 1 upon 6 into 100 can give you result as 16.66% or 16 is to 2 upon 3% now try to understand what is happening here i am repeating it so since they have asked you that 20% profit calculated on cp and you need to find out profit percent on sp so in this situation you will have to assume your cp first why because profit is cal is calculated on cp that's why 20% when written in fraction terms it is 1 upon 5 and 5 is considered as cost price so if 5 is considered as cost price ah uh, then selling price is 20% more than cost price so 5 plus 1 will give you selling price as 6 unit but profit is still 1 unit because the difference will be profit okay so 1 unit is profit but this time is calculated on 6 because new selling price is 6 so one unit on 6 multiply by 100 will give you 16.66% or 16 is to 2 upon 3% okay one more question i'm going to give you see here uh 33.33% loss Oh. Loss incurred on SP. What percent loss on CP? Okay. In short, I am writing question in short, so you get me the result. Okay, get me the result. Thirty-three point three three percent loss incurred on on SP. What percent loss on CP? So how do you find out this? <clears throat> okay. So after solution. See, 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट डाउन थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री परसेंट इज इक्वल टू वन थर्ड थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री परसेंट परसेंट इज वन थर्ड सो इन दिस सिचुएशन इफ आई एज्यूम थ्री यूनिट टू बी सेलिंग प्राइस नाउ वाई आई एम एज्यूमिंग इट एज सेलिंग प्राइस बिकॉज दिस टाइम थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री परसेंट लॉस इज इनकर्ड ऑन सेलिंग प्राइस नॉट सी पी इट इज ऑन एस पी सो इफ आई कंसिडर माई सेलिंग प्राइस टू बी थ्री यूनिट देन माई कॉस्ट प्राइस विल बी सिंस सेलिंग प्राइस इज थ्री यूनिट एंड लॉस इज इनकर सो हाउ डू यू इनकर लॉस वेन यूर सेलिंग प्राइस इज लोअर देन कॉस्ट प्राइस मीन्स कॉस्ट प्राइस इज ग्रेटर देन सेलिंग प्राइस देन यू इनकर लॉस और सेकेंड सिचुएशन इज इफ यू रिमेंबर देन लॉस इज एक्चुअली सी पी माइनस एस पी राइट सो वेन एस पी इज एडेड टू लॉस Loss, then you get cost price. Okay, but every time we are not going to write down these values, these things or this formula. So we know that here, if I consider selling price to be three unit, why I am considering three unit? Simply, we can see loss is incurred this time on selling price, and they want us to calculate on uh, calculate it on cost price. So if I am considering, if I am going to assume selling price as three unit, and since loss is incurred, so it is only possible when cost price is greater than selling price, and cost price is greater than selling price. by one unit why because one unit is the loss so when you add up loss in selling price you will be getting cost price and that is 4 so here four unit is loss incurred and and one unit was sorry four unit was uh, cost price one unit was loss incurred so that's why 4 minus 1 it will give you selling price as three unit but then loss is same in both the cases but this time loss to be calculated on cp the cp this time is four unit so 1 upon 4 multiply 100 will give you 25% so i hope now you understood the concept easily so if you got the concept now i am giving you a new type of question so i'll i'll give a change means i'll the uh, twist the question so uh, there will there, there will, will be a bit change in the question language of the question so understand it and try to solve approach can be different okay so let's move to the next question <clears throat> on selling 15 articles a man earns a profit a man earns a profit equal to profit equal to selling price of selling price of five articles selling price of five articles find profit percent find profit percent so question is simple we can easily solve such questions so on selling 15 articles a man earns a profit equal to selling price of five articles find profit percent <clears throat> how we can find this type of uh, how we can solve this type of question so try to understand on selling 15 articles a man earns a profit equal to selling price of of five articles find profit percent now the thing is <clears throat> in this type of question uh, there are so many different ways we can uh, begin with but here try to understand the question question is very simple that you are selling 15 articles means this man is selling 15 articles earns a profit and this profit is equal to selling price of five articles so there are three uh, three uh, reasons i have denoted by this line so to keep focus focus on these three important facts on selling 15 articles so how many articles are being sold here 15 second thing is profit is earned it is not loss incurred profit is earned and third is profit is earned equal to selling price of five articles so in this type of situation do one thing make it easier for you just assume 
the selling price of the article to be one rupees or anything whatever you want so if i'm assuming one rupee so i find it very easy and convenient to calculate that's why if this time if i'm going to assume selling price of one article as rupees one now your question in your mind there must be a question that why we are going to assume selling price to be one rupees what is the reason behind it uh, so why selling price because here in question it is given as man earns a profit equal to selling price of five articles that's why i am assuming selling price of one article as rupees one so as to calculate it conveniently had it been had it uh been given here that man is incurring a loss equal to cost price of the article then i would have assumed cost price of one article as one rupee or profit equal to cost price of the article then i have assumed it as cost price of one article as one rupee but here uh, profit or loss either of them are given in given equal to selling price of of certain number of articles okay so in that situation you will have to consider selling price of the article and from that we will assume we will calculate cost price so if i am going to assume selling price of an article as one rupee so selling price of one article as one rupee then how many articles were sold here 15 articles so if 15 articles were sold so selling price of 15 articles will be definitely 15 rupees and if selling price of 15 articles is 15 rupees selling price of 15 articles is 15 rupees then 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 profit incurred was equal to selling price of five articles so how much profit is made five rupees selling price of one article is rup rupees one then selling price of five articles is rupees five so in this situation if selling price is 15 rupees rupees means 15 articles were sold so selling price was 15 rupees in that case so 15 rupee was the selling price of 15 articles profit earned equal to selling price of five articles so that five article is to be added here so when you add this five uh, uh, sorry profit or no my mistake so profit was selling price of five articles in that situation profit was five rupees selling price of 15 articles 15 rupees because one article has selling price one rupee so 15 article has 15 rupees so selling price of 15 articles was 15 rupees profit was 5 rupees because profit was equal to selling price of 5 articles so 5 rupees so profit was 5 rupees and profit can only be made when selling price is more than that of cost price so selling price is 15 definitely selling price is more than that of cost price and by how much uh, by the profit value so definitely if selling price selling price is greater than cost price and how do we find out selling price in this case by adding by adding profit to the cost price so when you add profit to the cost price you get selling price selling price so if you want to find out cost price from selling price you will have to subtract profit okay so 15 was selling price and cost price cost price will be definitely lower in value uh, when compared to selling price because this time, this time it is making a profit so 15 minus 5 will give you 10 so cost price in this situation is 10 unit cost price in this situation is 10 unit so here still 5 rupees profit we can see and 5 rupees profit is calculated on cost price that is 10 and multiply here by 100 you will be getting how much 50 percent profit so in this situation this man is earning 50 percent profit this man is earning 50 percent profit okay <clears throat> Now let's move to the next part. One more question. On selling 33 articles, a man, a man. 33 articles a man incurs a loss equal to selling price of 11 articles 
find loss percent find loss percent okay do get loss percent in this situation <coughs> find loss percent try try this question done okay see on selling 33 articles so how many articles being sold here 33 and uh, loss equal to selling price of 11 articles so here again if i consider selling price of if i assume selling price of one article is one rupee so 33 articles are being sold here so in this situation selling price of 33 articles will be 33 rupees okay and loss incurred is equal to selling price of 11 articles so how much is the loss loss is 11 unit now my question to you is very simple that mean that is if loss is incurred here and loss can only be incurred when your selling price is lower than the cost price loss is simply incurred when your selling price is lower than cost price so if your selling price is lower than cost price if your selling price is lower than cost price, so cost price by how much? By loss here. That means if selling price is 33 and, and in this case loss was incurred. So selling price is lower than the cost price by that value we call it as loss. So loss was 11 unit here. So that means if you want to find out CP, no? so CP in this situation will be greater than selling price. So in that in this situation, if you want to find out CP, so you must add 11 to this number 33. So when you add 11 to 33, you will be getting 44. So CP in this situation is 44 unit. Why? Because loss plus CP, loss plus SP will give you CP. So 44 unit is CP in this situation and 11 unit was the loss. So 11 unit loss over 44 unit CP multiply by 100 so 11 4 is 44 so 4 this is 25 percent so 25 percent is the loss incurred in this situation <clears throat> i hope you understood this very very well i'm going to move to the next part of the question This, these are very simple. You have to r remember that profit is equal to selling price minus cost price and loss is equal to CP minus SP. Simply, if loss is incurred in this situation, so in, if you want to find out CP, so SP will be added up. So, 33 unit SP, loss was 11. So, SP plus 11 will give you CP. So, this formula is very simple uh, we whenever i write down formula whenever i explain formula so students think that they already know this type of formula so they are not interested uh, in this formula so these are not formula these are concepts so be interested okay why because every type of questions technically if they are uh, just solved using approaches using uh, traditional approaches or uh, whatever you have done so far or you are technical uh, or you are doing it uh, with tricky approach concept means directly applying concept so minimum calculation uh, every time you'll have to go with the concept okay so these are very important concept you'll try to understand concept and then solve questions okay so one more question i'm going to give you here question is very very simple uh, An article is sold uh, an article is sold at at one third an article is sold at one third of actual selling price one third of actual selling price so an article is sold at one third of actual selling price loss incurred was 60 percent
पॉइंट प्रॉफिट और लॉस परसेंट ऑन एक्चुअल और ओरिजिनल एसपी ओरिजिनल एसपी ओके डू दिस क्वेश्चन वेरी फास्ट प्लीज डन ओके सो यू वॉन्ट टू सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन ना इट कैन बी इजिली डन बट बिफोर बिफोर दैट वी मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग एन आर्टिकल इज सोल्ड एट वन थर्ड ऑफ एक्चुअल सेलिंग प्राइस लॉस इनकर्ड वॉज सिक्सटी परसेंट फाइन प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस प्रॉफिट और लॉस परसेंट ऑफ ऑरिजिन ऑन ऑरिजिनल सेलिंग प्राइस ओके सो ऑन ऑरिजिनल सेलिंग प्राइस हाउ डू यू फाइंड आउट लॉस or profit or loss on original selling price so here in this situation uh, what to do i have no idea i have no idea what was the loss what was the profit okay so what i'll do in this situation uh, i'll consider my cost price to be 100% so if my cost price is to be uh, written as 100% so my cost price is 100% and i incur a loss of how much a uh, a uh, uh, 60% i incur a loss of 60% so guys cost price is 100% and i don't sell it at actual cost uh, selling price so i have fixed a uh, selling price there i have fixed a selling price in my mind that i'll have to sell this article at certain price but i am not selling it at cert, uh, at that price i am trying to see that if i am going to sell this sell the this article at one third of the actual selling price that i have fixed in Uh, my mind so in that situation i incurred a loss of 60% so first of all let's try to find out that selling price selling price which is actually one third of the actual selling price so i have not sold it at price at price we have we um, uh, at price i have fixed so what i am going to do i will sell it it at a price which is actually one third of the original selling price and then i incurred a loss so how do you get a, how how do you lo, uh, incur loss in this situation if your cost price is 100 and you are going to incur loss of how much 60% so in this situation definitely your selling price is 40 100 minus 60 that is 40 so cp is 100 sp is 40 yeah cp is 100 then sp is 100 minus 60 that is 40 unit okay so cp is 100 unit sp is 40 unit sp is 40 unit now we know that it is 40 unit when 60% is the loss incurred but this 40 unit is not our actual selling price ha huh? so first of all try to find out what your actual selling price is so this selling price is One third of the actual value. So suppose my actual selling price is SP. So when I get one third of SP, I'll be getting this forty. So actual selling price is forty into cross multiply. So when you cross multiply, this will give you three upon one. So that means one twenty. So actual selling price in this situation is one twenty. So from now onwards, I don't really need to write down or always I need to show you here. I'll be directly writing. and how i'll write in this situation if cost price is 100 and i am getting i am just incurring a loss of 60% so selling price in this situation would be 40 and since 40 is not actual selling price it is one third of the actual selling price so actual selling price will be 40 into one third just one third will get reversed and multiply here by 3 by 1 so 40 into 3 by 1 okay and that is equal to 40 into 3 120 Okay, so in this situation, if CP was hundred, SP is one twenty, one twenty. So hundred is CP, SP one twenty. Actual SP is one twenty. So anyone can say that in this situation, profit will be twenty percent. So profit will be made as twenty percent on actual or original selling price. I hope you understood. Done. Okay, I'm gonna give you one more question. same type question an article is sold at 2/3 of original price original price 
लॉस इनकर्ड इज टेन परसेंट फाइंड प्रॉफिट और लॉस ऑन ओरिजिनल सेलिंग प्राइस फाइंड प्रॉफिट और लॉस ऑन ओरिजिनल सेलिंग प्राइस नाउ If you want to solve this question, it is very simple. An article is sold at two third of the original price. If I consider, if I assume cost price to be hundred, and when article is sold at two third of the original price, loss incurred is ten percent, right? So in that situation, selling price will be loss incurred ten percent. So selling price is ninety unit. But it is, it is when. Loss is incurred as ten percent, and this this selling price is ninety unit when it is two third of the original selling price. So if it is two third of the original selling price, and you want to find out out actual selling price, so ninety will be multiplied by reversing two upon three. Just reverse two upon three. This will give you three upon two. Multiply here by two three upon two. So this will give you forty five into three one hundred thirty five. So hundred is your cost price 135 is actual selling price so in this situation 35% is your profit so 35% will be profit on 100 we are making a profit of 35% here and that's why 35 we say as profit percent overall okay now i hope you have done this question let's move uh now this type of question you will see in the papers uh in different types of papers six lemons six lemons are purchased or bought for rupees 5 for rupees 5 and five lemons are Sold for rupees six. Find percentage profit or loss. Profit or loss. Find percentage profit or loss. Okay. So if you want to solve this question, now. so there are so many different ways to solve single question so i want to show you that how we can solve this type of question using different approaches but i am just i am want to discuss i want to discuss here with you the approach that we have already done in our basic classes okay so what kind of approaches now try to understand <clears throat> first of all if i am to see If I look, six lemons are purchased for rupees five. Suppose I am writing, six lemons are purchased for rupees five. Okay, and five lemons are sold for rupees six. So if I am asking, five lemons are sold for rupees six. Okay, so if I am asking you to find out, find out. the price of one lemon so six lemons are bought for rupees 5 so price of one lemon will be so price of one lemon is equal to rupees 5 by 6 okay and this is cost price of one lemon right cost price of one lemon and if selling price of five lemon is rupees 6 so selling price of one lemon will be 6 upon 5 so selling price of one lemon is 6 upon 6 upon 5 now in this situation 
Ah, we can see here that 6 upon 5, 6 upon 5 and 5 upon 6. So 6 upon 5 is greater than 5 upon 6. In first class, I have already explained you these things that uh, out of 6 upon 5 and 5 upon 6, which fraction is bigger? So multiply 6 and 6, that is this is 36, multiply 5 and 5, this is 25. So this fraction is bigger, so it is confirmed, it is confirmed that in this case, since selling price is bigger, so it is giving you a profit. But how much profit? So if you want to calculate profit, so in that situation, subtract cost price from subtract cost price from from selling price. So here profit is selling price 6 upon 5, cost price 5 upon 6. So LCM is 6 and 5, 30. So 5 into 5, 25, 6 means after solving it. So 5, 6, yeah. so 6 into 6, 36 minus 5 into 5, 25. So 36 minus 25 will give you 11 upon 30. So profit on one lemon is 11 upon 30. Okay, profit on one lemon is 11 upon, so profit on one lemon is 11 upon 30, okay, and profit or loss, we calculate on, on cost price of one lemon, so here profit on one lemon is 11 upon 30 and cost price of one lemon is 5 upon 6, so just divide it by 5 upon 6, multiply by 100, now rearrange it, that means the number at the lowest part will go upward and here 30 will come here downward so multiply 30 will be multiplied by 5 so when you solve it now so you can also solve this way this 30 can be cancelled out 6 1 ja, 6 5 ja. now this 5 is getting multiplied by 5 will give you 25 so 11 upon 25 multiply by 100 so 25 4 ja, it is 44 percent okay so that means the overall profit percent here profit is made as 44%. So 44% is the total profit made on, on lemons, purchasing and buying lemons. That means purchasing 6 lemons for rupees 5 and buying, sorry, uh, selling 5 lemons for rupees 6. It gives you a total profit of 44%. Okay, this is one of the method. Okay, this is basic method that we have done so far here. We have done this basic method in school days but I want to discuss another method here I, I want to discuss few things means this question with another approach here suppose I want to solve this question uh, and I don't want to write down the uh, cost price of one lemon I don't want to find out selling price of one lemon still we can find out solution fast faster so how we can find out solution faster in this situation now let me explain you Suppose guys, <clears throat> I am not, I'm not going to find out cost price of one lemon, I am not going to find out selling price of one lemon. So what exactly I am going to do here is to get a number of lemons uh, which is easily calculated, which can be easily calculated. So here means how many numbers, how many uh, lemons to be uh, purchased and how many to be sold here. So in, in that situation, just get the LCM of 6 and 5 and LCM of 6 and 5 is 30, LCM of, LCM of 6 and 5 is 30. So I am not going to find out cost price of one lemon or selling price of one lemon. I am going to find out selling uh, cost price of 30 lemons since LCM of 6 and 5 is 30. So I am going to find out cost price and selling price of 30 lemons, cost price of 30 lemons and selling price of 30 lemons. So if there, if there, LCM is 30, so this time I am going to buy 30 lemons. And now tell me one thing, if I am buying 6 lemons for rupees 5, if I am buying 6 lemons for rupees 5, but this time I am going to buy 30 lemons, so this is 5 times, 5 times that of 6. So if this is 5 times that of 6, so definitely I will have to pay 5 times more money. So that means in this situation, I will have to pay 25 rupees. And if I want, I have to pay 25 rupees. So this will be cost price of what? 30 lemons. So I was buying 6 lemons for rupees 5. But this time I am buying 5 times that of. This time I am buying 5 times. Uh, this time I am buying 5 times that of what? 
6 5 times that of 6 so that's why if i'm buying 5 times that of 6 so i'll have to pay 5 times 5 times i had paid earlier so that means i'll have to pay 25 rupees to buy 30 lemons so 25 rupee will be the cost price of 30 lemons now since i am going to sell 30 lemons and 5 lemons are sold for rupees 6 5 lemons are sold for rupees 6 and i am going to sell 30 lemons so 30 lemons is 6 times that of the lemons I have sold so five lemons for rupees six and this time six time, uh, times I am selling so in that situation five lemons were, were sold for rupees six and he, this time six times lemons I, I am uh, selling here so in this case I will be getting six times more money that is selling price 36 so in that situation five lemons were bought at rupees six and here five times six lemons were bought at rupees five so in the in this situation i am getting 30 lemons so five times more lemon so i'll have to pay five times more money and this time five lemons were sold at rupees six and now i am selling 30 lemons six times more lemons six times more lemons then i'll have uh, i'll be getting six times more money that is 36 so cost price of six lemons is 25 selling price of six lemons is 36 so is it profit or loss definitely we have we have made a profit here and how much profit it is 25 it is 36 so selling price minus cost price so 36 minus 25 so profit is of 11 unit so 11 unit profit we calculate here 11 unit profit is calculated on cost price always cost price is 25 so 11 unit calculated on cost price 25 multiply by 100 so after multiplying you'll be getting 11 multiply 4 that is 44 percent so 44 percent is the correct answer so you have matched the answer 44 percent here 44 percent here but this is the quick quicker approach here so when compared to when you compare that method with this now so that is quicker approach so this will give you quicker solution okay now i'll give you the fastest way here fastest way here to solve this question but you first write down and you see if you have any problem i'll be discussing it okay and then i'll give you another method try to understand <coughs> done okay now <coughs> Now, let me explain you one thing all here. Actually, since this question, means uh, I remember when we were preparing for means our IIT G, JE, uh, uh, those days, it was very difficult, uh, difficult to remember uh, the names of all uh, elements, atomic number, atomic red eye. So, it, it was very difficult. So, we used to uh, go through mnemonics right mnemonics and uh, there were few lines that we used to make uh, so as to remember these things easily so here same thing i have developed for you in order to solve this question and this is why uh, this has been developed and from which concept so i have used ratio and proportion here so using ratio and proportion we can solve this question so uh, in ratio and proportion you might have seen uh, we write down this way in ratio and proportion we write down a is to B proportion C is to D so we'll be we'll be studying everything in ratio and proportion but here we write this way A is to B equal to C uh, is to uh, A is to B proportion C is to do D uh, we write down it as A upon B equal to C upon D so what happens A is multiplied A is getting multiplied with D and B is getting multiplied with C so A D and B C so here a is multiplied with D and B is multiplied with C. So when A is multiplied with, with D, na, it is product of extremes. And when B is multiplied with C, na, it is product of mean. Okay. So I'll be using this method here. And then a uh, form that I have developed was a uh, concept. We also call it as concept, Nana concept. Okay. So Nana. So I remember those days, how we used to remember things like suppose I couldn't uh, remember uh, periodic table. No? So we used to remember this way. Halina Karod of Sefariyad 
नाना पापा आंटी सब बीमार सो नाना पापा आंटी सब बीमार मीन्स नाना स्टैंड फॉर नाइट्रोजन आप पापा स्टैंड फॉर फॉस्फोरस आंटी स्टैंड फॉर ऑरम दैट मीन्स गोल्ड सब बीमार बिस्मिथ सो दिस इज हाउ वी यूज टू रिमेम्बर राइट सो इन दिस सिचुएशन सेम हियर आई एम राइटिंग नाना कॉन्सेप्ट हियर एंड नाना कॉन्सेप्ट रिप्रेजेंट नंबर अमाउंट नंबर अमाउंट सो how many how many lemons he purchased so we'll be writing here how many lemons he purchased so he purchased purchased 6 lemons for rupees 5 so number is 6 rupee is 5 and how much he sold so he sold 6 lemons for rupees uh, he sold 5 lemons lemons for rupees 6 so in this situation product of extremes and product of mean will be used this way so when you multiply product of extremes na so product of extremes is multiplied to give you selling price so selling price is 6 multiply 6 will give you 36 and then product of means will be multiplied 5 and 5 multiplied to give you 25 so this is known as cost price so product of means is considered as cost price product of extremes is considered as 36 so 36 is selling price 25 is cost price so profit in this situation is 36 minus 25 that is 11 unit now the profit is 11 unit and this 11 unit profit can be calculated on cost price and that's why 11 unit profit calculated on cost price that is 25 multiply by 100 so this can be applied at any question where in any format in uh, in any question where uh, they are actually changing the even after even they want to change the language let them change doesn't ma matter so question will remain same they will give you the same question okay so no worries at all fine <clears throat> i hope you understood it so now if number amount number amounts are given now you can easily apply this type of this uh, concept anywhere okay so i'm giving you another question now let's change the type of question dishonest fruit vendor a dishonest fruit vendor professes to sell fruits at cost price and at cost price and and not but uses a weight of 800 grams instead of 1 kg find his profit percent find his profit percent would you like to do this question so i'm going to give you time please do this question faster okay so this question is very simple it this is about uh faulty weight okay so one can cheat you uh by just giving you by promising you to give uh, article at cost price and then uh, he will or she will provide only means uh, he he will uh, just cheat on you by just giving value lesser than what you expect to get right so see here 
okay if you want to solve this question na huh, it's very simple question but then i don't want you to use formula try to understand the language of the question try to understand the basic uh, concept here concept is very simple that there is a shop there is a fruit vendor he is he professes to sell fruits at cost cost price uh, but he uses a weight of 800 gram instead of 1 kilogram obviously he is making profit so how he is making profit try to understand suppose this fruit seller is selling fruits at rupees 100 1 kilogram fruits at rupees 100 so any kind of fruit 1 kilogram is 1000 gram right so this shop keep uh, this fruit vendor is selling 1000 gram fruits at rupees 100 so if 100 rupee is the price of 1000 gram fruits so that it is confirmed that 10 rupee will be the price of 100 gram 1000 gram fruits at worth 100 so 100 gram fruits is worth rupees 10 okay now what i what i have done suppose this fruit vendor had promised me to give fruits at cost price and he told me that he is going to uh, means he was going to give uh, give 1000 gram at rupees 100 so i have already given him tha, given him 100 rupees so expecting he, him to deliver me 1000 gram but at that time he cheated and what they what he did he only gave me 800 gram instead of 1 kg so 800 gram instead of 1 kg so i am asking you one thing that 100 rupee was the price of 1000 gram so 10 rupee would be the price of 100 gram so in that situation if 800 gram i was given so price of 800 gram should have been 80 rupees 10 rupee for 100 gram so 80 rupee for 800 gram so price of price of uh here price of 800 gram article article or fruit should be rupees 80 but he has already taken 100 rupees from me he has already taken 100 rupees from me and i was expecting him to deliver 100 1000 gram but he had given me only 800 gram 800 gram that means he had given me 800 gram article so article for, ru, for article worth rupees 80 so he had provided me article or fruits worth rupees 80 so that means the quantity he has provided me the cost price of that quantity should be rupees 80 so cost price of that quantity should be rupees 80 and i have given him 100 rupees so how much he is making profit from me so 20 rupees profit he is making from me and if he is making 20 rupees profit from me on which value on 80 rupees on 80 rupees so 20 rupees on 80 multiply 100 so that means 20 rupees is the profit but profit is made on cost price and cost price of what cost price of the article he has given me so 20 over 80 multiply 100 will give result as 25% so 25% is the correct answer 25% is the profit made by him here in this case okay i hope you understood it you want me to give you formula na i can also give formula but i don't recommend you to use formula always formula won't help you much so in this situation if you want to find out profit percent so it is actually uh, error percent error weight percent okay upon 100 minus error weight percent 100 minus error weight percent multiply 100 so error weight percent error weight percent means if someone is providing you 800 gram instead of 1000 gram so definitely he is giving you 20% less less of value so 20% less of value will be error here so i am writing 20% if you want to write down in percentage terms if you don't want to write down in percentage terms so you can write down error weight and if it is error weight then you should write down 1000 gram 1000 minus error weight 1000 minus error weight so you don't need to write down this so error weight is 200 grams so 200 upon 1000 minus 200 1000 minus 200 that is 800 multiply 100 still you are getting the same answer 25% so no change okay done na okay let's move <coughs> i'm going to give you one more question Mm. 
a shopkeeper a shopkeeper earns a profit on selling an article selling an article and uh, a shopkeeper earns a profit of 20% of 20% on selling an article and uses a weight weight 20% less than the real weight 20% less than the real weight find profit percent total profit find is total profit percent find his total profit percent so please do solve this question okay <coughs> So you want to solve this question? See guys, this is very simple. A shopkeeper earns a profit of 20% on selling an article and uses a weight 20% less than the real weight. Find his total profit percent, right? So uh, in this type of question, we, we can see that he is making profit from both this side, right? So he is making profit of 20% on selling the article and in other side, other side he also cheated. That means he, he defrauded the customer. That means uh, he had given 20% lesser weight than customer was expecting him to give, right? So in that situation he is making profit. So how much profit? So let's suppose, suppose, they, let's uh, the same uh, value here. Suppose I'm, I can write down uh, suppose he is selling any article 1000 gram, 1 kilogram article at rupees 100. Suppose this man is selling 1 kilogram article at rupees 100. Okay. So if this man is selling 1 kilogram article for rupees 100, so definitely 100 gram will cost rupees 10. But he has already asked customer, he has already told customer that he is going to make a profit of 20%. That means he won't give. 1000 gram at rupees 100. He will give 1000 gram at rupees 120. Why? Because he has to make profit of 20%. So that means a customer will have to pay him 120 rupees. So suppose I am the customer. I have paid him 120 rupees and now I am expecting him to deliver to me 1000 gram fruits, right? I am expecting to, del to get delivery of 1000 gram here. I have already paid him 120 rupees that means he has already made profit of 20 percent but now i was expecting him to deliver thousand gram but he is not he is not giving thousand gram to me he is giving me only 800 grams okay so he is giving me 800 grams and we know that the price of 800 gram was only rupees 80 that means he has given me given me given me worth he has given me article worth rupees only 80. So cost price. So he has given me article whose cost price was rupees only 80. But he has taken from me 120. So how much he has taken from me? 40. So 40 more he has taken from me. And on which value we should find profit? So value I have got that is rupees 80. So 40 over 80, 80 multiply 100 will get your answer that is 50%. So here in this situation, this man earns 50% profit. This man earns 50% profit. And what is happening here? If you want to write down formula, I can also write down formula in this situation. So total profit, if you want to make total profit here. So total profit percentage is equal to, uh, 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 yeah. 
प्रॉफिट परसेंट प्लस एरर वेट परसेंट अपॉन हंड्रेड माइनस एरर वेट परसेंट इन टू हंड्रेड सो आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू हाउ वी यूज दिस फॉर्मूला सपोज प्रॉफिट परसेंट इज ट्वेंटी प्रॉफिट परसेंट इज ट्वेंटी एरर वेट परसेंट सो एरर वेट परसेंट इज सपोज ही इज गिविंग मी ओनली एट हंड्रेड ग्राम इंस्टीट ऑफ थाउजेंड इट इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट एरर वेट अपॉन हंड्रेड माइनस एरर वेट परसेंट सो हंड्रेड माइनस ट्वेंटी मल्टीप्लाई बाई हंड्रेड फाइनली विल गिव यूर रिजल्ट सो इट इज हंड्रेड माइनस ट्वेंटी इज एटी ना एंड ट्वेंटी प्लस ट्वेंटी इज फोर्टी सो हियो इट इज फोर्टी हियो इट इज एटी मल्टीप्लाई बाय हंड्रेड सो फोर्टी टू जा इट इज फिफ्टी परसेंट सो अप्लाइंग फॉर्मूला यू कैन गेट योर आंसर बट आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट आई नेवर बिलीव इन फॉर्मूला दैट्स वाई आई नेवर रिकमेंड स्टूडेंट्स टू यूज फॉर्मूला इन दिस केसेस ओके सो प्लीज राइट डाउन सो दिस इज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे टूमोरो विल बी डिस्कसिंग फ्यू मोर क्वेश्चन few more questions from profit and loss and types of questions they had asked you in the papers and then we'll move, move to a new topic okay <clears throat> okay i hope you have done this guys have you written so you understood each and everything what i have tried to try to explain you so uh there are few qu more questions few more concepts we have to discuss in profit and loss and then after discussing after going through the questions they had asked you recently in the papers we'll move to a new topic let's discuss decide next topic tomorrow only uh, perhaps it uh, it will be probably i'll just begin uh, ratio and proportion or time and work out of these two one at a time so guys for today thank you so much if you have any doubt let's come and discuss me or uh, discuss your doubts in uh, doubt session here and uh, you'll be getting your pdf afterwards thank you so much take care enjoy bye bye and see you